think I can get in here. I'm giving you guys an update of this building. And as you know, there has been some activity in here. Uh, for what reason, I don't know, but... Uh, whoever bought this place, or I don't know if it's under current renovation or what, but... can't get in here damn might be a way in I don't know they didn't do much with the grounds but Put something over here. What in the hell kind of door is that? Post a private property. Yeah, well, they had it posted before. They put a brand new door up there. Can you believe this? A brand new door in this shithole? You gotta be kidding me. Brand new door. I can't crawl in through the windows, I get cut. Let me just look at the condition. Look at the shit that's growing on us. can't get in back here you sure so ain't gonna be able to get in in the front so gutted this out for whatever reason. You got all these wooden structures that they put. Yeah. Either this collapsed or they tore this part down. I think they tore this down. Because the last time when I was here to uh, make a, a, a vlog this this was intact this was part of the roof that I actually I think what I was on that I filmed <clears throat> at any rate it was all connected look at this this thing is old check that out that's vintage that is certainly vintage down here Wow how about that huh look at all this old wiring Wow. 
know if you can see better. I have a little bit of headlamp, but I don't think it works too well. Let me see. See a little bit better? Holy cow. This is one part of the building that I never film. they have for this place you can't do anything with it but tear it down look how old this shit is look the beam up there look it's completely rusted out possibly could salvage this place for. was still intact when I came down here last time and made a film. They've turned this place into a dumping ground. So you folks in Rochester, uh, I don't know. I've heard different things. I've heard somebody purchased a place. I heard somebody uh, it was renting the place. I heard it was going to be raised. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe you do. What do you know? Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Yeah, when I saw all the activity back in like, uh, I don't know, it was back in the fall or something. Um, they were gutting this place out and you couldn't get in here, you know, to even film. You could come out here and take pictures, you know. 
like where I'm at now, but you couldn't go inside. There was just people when you're doing stuff. And then that gave me the impression that if I could ever come down here and go inside, that it would be much safer. But huh, from what I just filmed, that doesn't seem to be the case. It's very dangerous inside there and very creepy. Now they're doing something over there in that lot. Somebody must have bought that up because there's trucks there that are parked. Look at that old rig, man. Let's go take a look at that old rig for a moment. I remember this being a lot of weeds and stuff. They must have broke all this out and they got rid of all this and it's more of a dumping ground. But I, I remember this, I remember this truck here. You couldn't have access to it. It was hard to get to. And just look how old this is. Admiration Foods. <laughs> I never heard of it. I have to do some research on that. Englewood, New Jersey. Supreme Company. Supreme Oil Company. Uh, these are just look like a bunch of old advertisements on this old rig. Look at the wheels, man. Look at that. That's old. Wow. I wonder how long this thing's been here. Well, they got shit inside there too. I'm not going in there, but it's too rusted out anyway. Yeah, this thing has been here a long time. This thing don't even have lights on it. Look how rusted it is. Look at this. Somebody's old boat. Some other piece of equipment there. Looks like a piece of railroad equipment. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that boat has seen better days. Looks like somebody took the propeller from the motor. Yeah, they cleared all that out. You remember when I made ex I explored over there? It was a field. Now they turn it into a rubble with rocks for a place to park trucks. Sun's contracting. This looks look like it has seen better days as well. What is this? Anybody know what this is? I've never done heavy construction work, so forgive my dumbness. Is this something for roads, like when they tear up asphalt? Is that what this is? No? I don't know. Ooh, holy Christ. Look at this old Coke bottle. Damn. Huh. I don't think anything's salvageable on this. Well, it's a 724 number. Uh, definitely have seen better days. You know, this building here in Rochester was a, it was a, it, it just has such a, an ornate history to it, you know? It was a brewery for many years. I would love to, you know, maybe find some artifacts about, you know, the history of the, you know, just historical artifacts about the brewery, maybe laying around here somewhere. It's quite possible you'd really have to do some research and digging. <laughs> You'd really have to turn into an archaeologist, which I don't have a problem doing, but I love archaeology. I do consider myself a very amateur archaeologist. I am no expert by any sense of the word. I just enjoy exploring and digging around and finding artifacts and to share with you guys. But uh, yeah, 
see there's somebody there. I thought I heard somebody walking around in the building. Maybe I was right. That's okay. I think what we're doing here is all right. Ain't nobody going to get all... I just don't see how this building, you know, can be repurposed in any manner. I just... I mean, unless you... I, I don't see it. I, I Even with you know, a billion dollars. I just, I, I showed you the infrastructure in here. I mean, it's, it's beyond repair. Again, I'm not a construction worker or an engineer, but wow. I mean, I, you know, if I had hundreds of millions of dollars at my disposal, I would not invest a dime in this building. I just wouldn't do it. Now you could preserve it and gut it out and use it for, you know, an historical purpose, but that's about it. I don't see what else you could do, you know. It just can't serve any other purpose. It just can't. Huh? All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to end this video. I don't. There's not much more to show you. It hasn't changed up here much. Those sealed windows have been sealed for a long time. You can tell that the bricks old. There's nothing new going on in there. Now, there's a truck sitting right there. And I don't know. I think he's been watching me the whole time I've been down here exploring, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm not going to go inside, obviously. I may try to take a sneaky peek sometime here in the near future, you know, just to get a couple more uh, vlogs about it. But other than that, because I'm looking around and I'm trying to see if uh, there's a way in here. But I don't think there is. The only, if I knew my way around this building, what I was just at and filmed underneath the building itself it might be, you know, might have a pass. It might contain a passage where I can get up to the upper compartments of this building. But uh, I don't see that happening. So here it is, guys. Your old Beaver Valley Bowl. How many more films I can do here? I don't know. This might be my very last one. I'm not saying anything at this point, so. I'm trying to read it. I don't have my glasses on, but the, at the very bottom of the sign, it says Spect Sign Company. That's old. God, I can smell the mold dampness coming out from here. And it's a very nice day here in Beaver County in the Pittsburgh area. Okay, guys, there's your film for today. Um, like, subscribe, comment below if you know any more than what I do. I don't know anything that's going on. Like I said, everything I hear is conjecture. So how about you administer and comment on some facts in the comment section here, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, guys, stay safe.